Welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Tonight featuring the Smothers Brothers. Fuji Hakayito. The Super One will be with you in a moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the star of the Super Dave Osborne Show, the one, the only, Super Dave Osborne. have a fantastic show for you this evening. I'll be doing a tremendous stunt later on, and uh, we have an unbelievable guest package. Uh, these uh, two gentlemen are very old friends of mine, and they are simply legends in the business. Uh, every time they appear on television, I say, why aren't they on more often? Tonight, they're on my show. They've been performing here at the compound. Let's raise the roof for the tremendous, the one and only Smothers Brothers. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, all right. We thank you very much. What a wonderful reception. And, and on behalf of my brother Tom and myself, we are so pleased to be here in Super Show because he's such an old friend of ours. And it is a great show. It's really honest. By the so way, we do think we're pretty excited. That I'll, I just want to mention this is, I'm with us. This is my brother. I'm, there, there's two of us. I'm Tom and this is my brother Dick. And I just want to yeah, say, I just that, said that. I, I think know. We covered that. But, but a lot of times people will get us confused. Sometimes people will get us confused with our names. They won't get us confused as people. But sometimes they'll come up and they'll call, my brother Dick, and then he'll call me uh, Tom. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> See, e even, I, even I'm confused. Which one am I, Tom or Dick? Which what? one am I, Tom or Dick? That's a stupid question. That's right, I'm Tom. That's right. <laughs> but there's, it's I'm, not only other brothers. A lot of brothers get the same problem. That, that's the not The Everly Brothers, sometimes they'll get the Everly Brothers Tom, mixed up. They'll be Don or Forget Phil. the Everly Brothers. Let me just finish this thought on the brothers. And then there's, of course, the Righteous Brothers. Not even brothers. The Righteous Brothers are... Bobby and Billy, and they're not even brothers. Yeah. There's a, there's anyway, a Wright we... brothers, Wilbur and Orville Wright, and they they, they built the plane. They built the. They we built all know the, the Wright. Wait a second. They built the. <laughs> they built the plane. The Wright brothers built the plane. Orville and and Orville and Wilbur, Wilbur. built the built, built the plane. But they. What's they, your they, point? They, but they still people come and say, which one's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> that happens all the time. By some people, That's really interesting. I'm glad you brought that out. Like, a lot of people think that I'm. See, I'm the. A lot of people think I'm the oldest brother, but actually, Dickie's the youngest. <laughs> and then it's Cain and Someone Abel. help me. So, I'm Tom, I, I want to tell you something. All this is so irrelevant. We're here to do super show. We, we've practiced. We've had all this stuff to do, and you're spending all this you know time talking about. You know what super's brother is? Duper. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even recognize him. Oh, hey, wait. So what about Gappers and Stadley? Driggs and Stratton. And you guys said you were prepared. That's <laughs> <laughs> just great. Uh, listen, I, like I just want to say one show. thing. Uh, I've known you guys for years, and yeah. I really do like you so much. I need one favor, Tommy, if it's possible. Dick. I'm Dick. Tom. <laughs> A lot of times gets people mixed up. Sometimes Don't get, get into that again. <laughs> Could you do the yo-yo man? I can't. Wait, wait. I, I can't do the yo-yo. I can't do it. I know. I know you can't. Do it. I can't. I'm not the yo. I know the yo-yo man, but you know who he is. Yeah, but listen to this thought. Okay, listen to this. Oh, Super Dave, oh, Super Dave, Super Dave, Super Dave, oh, Super Dave, oh, Super Dave, you're brave.
You're so humble. Listen, it's just You're sensational. Humble you know, we look a lot shorter on television <laughs> than we do in real life. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, though. You do know the yo-yo man, and I bet you if Tom can go out and convince him to that come on back. That would be a sensational I'll, idea. I'll go Why don't you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super Dave will be back with the yo-yo man after Hi, this. I think... I'm hoping the yo-yo man is ready because... Oh, there's the music. Hey, I ladies think he's ready, ladies and gentlemen. Yo -yo Here he is, the yo-yo man. Come on out. Right up there, yo-yo man. Get on your yo-yo spot. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You will now see before your very eyes the one and only yo-yo man. He is groovy. Hey, yo-yo man, let's see you do that groovy look. The groovy one. That's it. You know, you can't get any groovier than that. Flip out those loop-de-loops, those are neat. When you get down to a genuine steady yo, let's see you do Around the World. Around the World illustrates the philosophy of yo. It shows how we live our lives like the planet spinning around in the universe. We're always going somewhere, we're always doing something. Good going, yo-yo man. Let's see you do Around the World backwards. It's by far more difficult backwards, ladies and gentlemen, because of the... That's not what I had. That's not what I had in mind, yo-yo man. Come on, yo-yo man. What is this? A little yo humor around the world with a full twist. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Let's hear it for the yo-yo man. All right. All right. Anybody, anybody out there got any yo-yo requests? We have time for two requests. Uh, real quick. Uh, no, that's not good enough. Come on, let's hear it. Rock the baby in the cradle, walk the dog. No, oh, those are all right, because the sleeper's in every trick, so the yo-yo man will honor that request also. Yo-yo man, if you have two requests, rock the baby in the cradle and walk the dog. Can you do them both? Yes, he said yes. Now, don't, don't y'all love the way the yo-yo man talks? Say yes again. No, he's not. He's going for it. Rock that baby in the cradle, overhand release, a lot of spin back and forth, up to the palm of the hand. Good going, yo-yo. Good going, yo-yo. Walk that dog, yo-yo man. All right. Get up there. Yo-yo man is going to do walk the dog. Walk the dog's a basic trick, but he will give it his total attention. Look at that. Full body yo. Let's hear a little bit more music. Full body yo. Let's do it, yo-yo man. Walk that dog. All right. Good job. All right, yo-yo man. The yo-yo strut. He's strutting his stuff. Thank you, Stacey, my humble arrogance. Oh, hey, yo-yo man, are you ready for some advanced state of yo? You ready to ascend a higher plane? He says, yes, he is. Hey, let's do a little bit of uh, flying saucer to tune the string. Ooh, look at that. Nicely done. Hey, shoot the moon, yo-yo man. Uh-oh, he wants to do it again. Are you ready for shoot the moon? He says, yes, he is. Okay, shoot the moon with a mere flick of his finger and a, the wrist. Look at that. Up and out and up and out. What control? What precision? Shoot the moon, yo-yo man. Catch it. Come on. Catch it. All right. Not quite what I had in mind. But the yo-yo man never quits. You never say die. I've got to say that was a good effort, but it looked like two separate tricks. He looks like he did shoot the moon and then right in to save your... All right? Yeah! All right. And of course, we all know that Super Dave knows the ladder trick because that's how he lives his life. Let's move right into the man on the flying trapeze. Starts off like around the world. The finger comes out. The yo-yo bends over, splits the string, continues to spin. Bring it home, yo-yo man. Oh, all right. All right, yo-yo man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the grand finale. The Yo-Yo Man, in honor of the U.S. space program, will turn his yo-yo into a rocket ship. Now, are you ready, Yo-Yo Man? Are you ready? He says he's ready. All right. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. That's good. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Yo-Yo Man will now attempt the rocket yo-yo Outer space re-entry, right front pocket <laughs> trick. <laughs> Good luck, yo-yo man. Quiet, please. Don't force it, yo-yo man. Let it flow. Pump some yo. Pump some power. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off! He did it!
is the Yo-Yo Man. All right, good going. Ladies and gentlemen, Yo-Yo and Dwight Swain. to first class. Sensational. Uh, I need someone to throw it to Mike Walden because I have to go do a stunt. Who would like to? Oh, Yo-Yo Man, could you come back out here for a second? Are you still here? Come back out here for a second. Uh, who would like to throw it to Mike Walden? You, sir, right here. Come on down. Give this man a hand. Music, please. Let me have some Yo-Yo music. Okay. Can I have a microphone, please? Yo, yo, man. Yo, yo, man. Come on down here, please. What is your name? Freddie. Okay, Freddie, and what do you do for a living? I'm a salesman. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Would you like to win a hat and a shirt, Super Dave hat and shirt? I sure would. Have you ever played with a yo-yo before? Not for about 15 years, I haven't. Okay, if the yo-yo man shows you a trick, you think you could try to master it? I'll try, I'll try. Do you have an extra yo-yo, yo-yo man? Oh, you don't talk. <laughs> okay, yo-yo man, make the yo-yo sleep. Right, watch what he's doing. Look how he's holding it. Okay, for a shirt and a hat, make that yo-yo sleep. Okay. I'll try it again. Wind it up. Let me show you something, okay? When you put the yo-yo down, I'm not doing it, just let me give him a piece of advice. When you put the yo-yo down, throw it hard and snap your wrist and follow it to the floor. All right, all right, give him a hand. Okay. Try some other stuff, just relax. That's all you have to do is follow through. Atta boy. That's it. That's it, atta boy. Try a couple when you get a chance. Try a couple when you get a chance. Yeah. Try two yo-yos. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. See how easy that is? If you just follow through. Thank you, yo-yo man. Great job. Can I have a hat and a shirt, please? Give this man a hand. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, if you'll take this and give me a moment and say, take it away, Mike Walden. Okay. Great job. Thank Thanks you. Take it away. Take it away, Mike Walden. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden, and I'm here at still another new area of the Super Dave compound. I'm standing here in front of the newly constructed Super Dave Safe Soccer Stadium, and the Super One should be arriving at any moment now to tell you all about it. Oh, oh, here he comes right now with Fuji Hakaido in his convertible quadricycle. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I hope I didn't take too long getting to the studio. Well, you do have the distance to come. There's no doubt about it. How are you, pal? Great show. All right. Well, we're on a run of luck. That's all I can say. And uh, I'll be doing a stunt later on. But before I do, I'm going to show you our brand new safe soccer stadium. Well, now, I've heard of soccer stadiums, but a safe soccer stadium? Well, absolutely, Michael. You know, I've been working very closely with the North American Soccer Association. NASA? And uh, they call me it's a super... Soccer is the greatest sport in the world, but there is so much violence going on. What can you do to help us? And uh, 
this man has created a very special stadium. Well, what is it? That's right. We have created a stadium where you can come and enjoy soccer as a fan or as a prayer in your complete safety. Complete safety. Absolutely. How many will it hold, Fuge? 45,000. It's 45,000 right uh -huh. now, and we have the capability to expand to what? 90,000. 90,000? Absolutely. It's a very, very unique stadium. I'm going to show it to you quickly. You're going to love it, and it's really a breakthrough. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're going to love this, Michael, because I know how you love to see new stadiums. I do. And uh, well, I'd love to ask you and Fuji to please go out into the playing area, because Fuji is going to set up a sensational demonstration of safe soccer in the stands. And uh, I'll meet you out there. I'm just going to take a quick look at the backstage area. Great. Okay. Is this great? It is, yes. You have outdone yourself again. Sensational. Thank you so much. All right. We'll see you out there. All right. All right. Now, basically, and this is very important, this feels like an ordinary hallway in a soccer stadium because we don't want the players to be alarmed. We want them to feel comfortable. Uh, the first area we take them to after they leave the dressing rooms is the pregame warning area where the coach talks to his team and reminds him that he's in a safe soccer place, all right? And uh, we talk about what this place uh, offers where other stadiums don't. Then we'll go over here and quickly put on what we call a video reminder of how soccer crowds can get out of hand. And we tell the teams, gentlemen, if you follow what we're saying very, very carefully, this will not happen. But if you do not obey the stadium rules, this could happen. All right, it's a little reminder. Then, the teams never co-mingle. That is very important. Because if you get two soccer teams all revved up in an enclosed area like this, violence will erupt. So what we've done, we've given each one of the teams, say a red team and a blue team, their very own entry and exit tunnel. They're down the hall. Also their own pregame warning room. They never see each other before a game. All right, we've taken care of the teams. What about the forgotten man in soccer? What about the official? No one cares about him. He's got his dumpy little locker room. He comes in at halftime. Maybe he needs a Band-Aid. Nothing. Let me show you what we've done. Say he has a slight problem in the first half, an altercation, and he's hungry. We've got intravenous feeding. Also, we've got a brain scan machine here to see how badly he might be injured, and we can perform emergency surgery, okay? Now, if it's a little more serious than that, we've got a room he can go into right here for a little counseling. Hello, Father. Hello, man. He's done. So he's ready for the second half. This room houses coffins, but we don't need to see that. Now, what about the tunnel for the referee? How is he protected? How, do, how does he not know that there might be violence going on right now? I'll tell you how. First of all, this is padded. Secondly, he does not leave until the... Put on the red light, will you, Fuge? Okay, red light is on. It means stay. Now, to switch the green. Now he can go. It's like a traffic light. Now he's going. But say the crowd, from there to here, someone jumped over the fence. We have one more line of demarcation. It's this pneumatically moved wall, which shuts off, and the referee can say, too bad, okay? So he's protected. All right, we protected the officials, we protected the players. Pan around here. Now we're gonna work with the fans. Beautiful, yes? But notice one thing, Danny. There is no horseshoe. This stadium does not continue. You cannot get from that area to this area unless you come across the field, and I'll show you why that's impossible. Come over here, Fuji. All right, sensational. The place looks great. Oh, Doesn't this look great? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, uh, what are we going to demonstrate tonight, Fuji? We are going to demonstrate a super safe ejection seat. A super safe ejection seat? Absolutely, my guy. I'm going to go up in the stands and sit in one of these seats, and you're going to say, when I get through with my demonstration, every stadium in the world ought to be filled with them. They're unbelievably brilliant. Now, he's devised something else. You know, in order to get the feeling that the crowd is moving closer, he has stands filled with people, and he can move them with this remote control closer to me until I feel it's necessary, that I can't take it anymore, and I eject myself. If we can get a shot of our fans, I don't know if you can tell, but they're not real people. They're actually cardboard cutouts. Okay, so I'm going up there, food. You all handle the remote. And when I ask you to move the fans closer, you all edge them in. All right. Okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you there. Okay. Now, right now, I'm on the playing field. All right? This is all protected, and I'll show you by what. Okay. 
Once I go up these stairs, normally this is where people get to sit, not in our stadium. This is a police protection area, okay? This is the last place a fan can go. If he wants to go over this railing, he's gonna have to go over barbed wire. Now, the ejection seat is built to clear this barbed wire and land right in the padded area where the police who are positioned here can provide protection, okay? Now, come with me, Danny. This looks like a normal stadium walkway, but as soon as I turn right, I go through a metal detector. How you doing? Okay, that's enough of the fake fans. Now I'm going up my row step by step. Seems like a normal stadium. Okay, now I've come to my row M, all right? What's the worst problem that can happen to you? If you're a season ticket holder and someone next to you has a stolen ticket, no one will be able to get into any row without punching in proper identification. All you do is punch in your name, the year you bought the ticket, your row, and your social security number. You wait. If two beeps happen, you go. One beep happens, you don't go. All right, there's a protection right there. You will be guaranteed not to sit next to a stolen ticket. Now, look at this. Is this sensational? I can't tell you how comfortable this is. We're gonna fill the stadium with 40,000 of these. We'll have to build it a little bigger, but it'll be well worth it. Uh, now let me show you what goes on during a soccer game, okay? I'm sitting out here. Great game! Good job, everyone! All of a sudden, I start to hear mumblings in the crowd. There might be a fight. So I go to precaution one. I simply turn on my warning lights. That lets the police down there know that possibly I am contemplating ejecting myself over the barbed wire. All right? I'm sitting here. Nice job! I hear over there, let's fight. Let's get in a fight. What I do is I take out my warning pistol. Boom. Now the police know that I'm serious. And I might eject myself. Okay, Fooch, bring the crowd in a little closer, and I'll eject myself. All right. Good. Now, Fooch. Anyway, this is Mike Walden along with the ingenious Fuji Hakuido and the ever safe Super Dave Osborne reminding you to think safe soccer. I want to say so long, everybody. Good night. It's my show. I'm running out of air. Super's running out of air. We got to get him out of there. Push the stands back. No, Mike. That would take too long. I'll use the remote ejector seat. No. Good night. <laughs>